Hello and welcome to Practical Sheets. We're continuing our project of event generation with Google Apps Script, Google Sheets, and Google Calendar. Today we have the fourth part of this project. We have done a lot. We are able now, we have some custom functions where we can create all the events we want, where we can choose after we create it if we want to modify or delete each one of these. We can also delete all the events modify a specific event, create a specific event, delete a specific event, or just perform one action per each of these events. And with, with these perform all actions, you can do it all at once. So we're going to do some tweaking and uh, change a bit of things. The, I want to, to work with different calendars. In this, we work with a specific calendar, but maybe I want to try to have different possibilities of calendars so we're going to do that so the first thing i'm going to do is i want to know which calendars i have i'm going to to have here a list tab and i want to have here my calendars so let's go to our script i'm going to create a function let's first i'm going to close these functions I'm going to create a function called the bring all calendar here I have a specific calendar so, uh, but I want to bring all the calendars I have so let's go to our calendar app and I'm going to bring all get all calendars all owned calendars because I want all my calendars because if not it's going to bring me the holiday calendars and all that so I want all, all of my calendars it's called its calendars and I'm going to have a for each look to see the name and the IDs of these calendars and for each of these calendars I'm going to get the ID and get the name Let's see what we have save Let's play these bring on calendars to see what I have here. So I have two, just two. This is the ID and this is the name. So let's create a new one just to see if this is working well. I'm going to create a new calendar. Let's see, I have it here, my test calendar. You, you see, it's not bringing tasks, it's not bringing reminders, it's not bringing other ones that are, that are that I have not created. It's just bringing the ones that I've created. Let's run it again. And I have here my three calendars. My new test calendar is here. So I want to list them here. I can have here the name and then the ID. So I could do an append row, but maybe in the future these lists will have other things. So I'm just going to do a set range. I have here my spreadsheet, so I can do it. I can have a new book that is called uh, list sheet, and it will be WS get sheet by name lists, and then I can call this list sheet, and I'm going to have get range. I want my row. My, the last row I have here, you can do this with uh, this sheet to get last row. Although I have a, a, there may be other methods in the future. This row plus one, because I don't want to put it in the last row, but in the next row after the last row. And then column one and up to how many rows. I just want two fields, so two columns. And then set values. You always need to put when you're creating arrays, when you're creating rows or ranges, you need an array of arrays. So you always need two square brackets. And then I'm going to put these two. Calc get ID and then no first calc get name and then calc get ID. I put it here wrong forgot to put, I have here, the get last row, then 
the number one column, then how many rows? It's just one, and then how many columns? That is two. Let's run it. And I have it here. I have my calendars and my calendars ID. So the first thing I can do is I want to know which will be my default calendar to work on. So I'm going to create another list, another sheet that's called config. Here I'm going to have I'm going to send to have a field uh, drop down that is called default column. And I'm going to have a drop down. Actually, I could have done this drop down uh, programmatically, but maybe I'm going to need these IDs. So let's see if we can erase this in a, to have many, uh, may, maybe to erase this sheet in the future. Let me see. In the moment, let's have data, data validation. We're going to have this from a range, and it's going to be this one. Let's, let's leave it open. And so here I can choose which is going to be my default calendar. So that here in the event, it's going to create them in this calendar. So what I'm going to change is here the calendar ID. I'm going to bring it from here. So to, in order to not have to do that uh, that much code, I'm going to bring the ID here with a video card. Maybe this is not the finest or most elegant way. I could do this in the code, but this, we could do this later. Let's see first if all this works. So I'm going here to lists, and there will be like up here. In the column two. So here I have my my ID that in this case is the same mail, but in this other case is different. So I want this ID. So I can have here calendar ID, default calendar ID. Let's have it here. Let's bring this down. And this default calendar ID, I'm going to, to have a new sheet called config sheet and this is config and my the my calendar ID I'm going to bring it from this config sheet dot get range c1 actually I think we can skip this part because there is a method of get calendar by name so I can have another here let's see if it works first and this will be config sheet get range v1 that is this name so let's see if in calendar app we can have so here get calendar by id so to use my default call id it is this one okay one thing i forgot is to have here get value let's see we're going to, for example, try to delete all the events. And it deleted all the events we had in practical sheets. This is good. Now let's test it. Let's, for example, we are in practical sheets. We're going to create just one event. This one, for example. Let's say this is August the 2nd. Here. I'm going to create this event. Here. I have it here and then I'm going to create another one but in other calendar so let's do it here in our test calendar and I'm going to create this other one and it should have created in the test calendar let's see this is the 20th of August so let's check I have it here and look look at the color it's in my test calendar okay so this is good I can choose for all the events where they're going to be created. Other thing I can do is to change here the calendar where I'm going to create it. So I can have here the calendar. And we're going to have a similar dropdown as the one we did in the config. Data, data validation. We can select here a data from range. And we're going to choose from here. Let's leave it open if we have multiple calendars. And what I can do is 
if this is blank then we're going to use the default calendar but if you choose here any of the calendars that it will create it in each of those calendars okay so first let's delete all we have all the events but it only deleted one event because it deleted the event from this test calendar then i do practical sheets and delete all the events then it will delete the one event we had in practical sheets and if then i choose my basic calendar and i delete all events it's going to delete all the events i had but i don't i hadn't i had any events okay so now i'm going to do this part i already have my calendar my default calendar but when i create for example let's see our secondary functions when i create the event i do it here from my calendar so i have to change this i could do this in this way this is not going to be a constant but a variable global variable and then here in my create event for example i'm using this calendar so at the beginning of the function you could say that if let's bring custom calendar and it will be ss get range row and in my column eight in this case let's break the value and what we can say is that if custom calendar is different from blank then our calendar is going to be calendar app let's try this other this other method calendars by name so i don't have to go and get the id so let's say cut calendar by name and it will be the custom calendar and the, the thing about calendars by name is that it brings an array so i need assuming there's only one there are no repeated names of the calendar so i'm going to bring the first position the only one that is going to bring each time and that's it i don't need anything more because if this is empty then it's going to bring the, the default calendar we already have let's see if it works so i'm going to save here i'm going to create this event for example Let, let's create this one again and i'm going to create if i have my my default i have it in the practical sheets so i'm going to do it in our test here i'm going to do it here in the test calendar i'm going to create the event with the current row and it should have created this one in the test calendar even though this the default is a practical sheets one so let's see any of August excel versus google sheets here look it's in the test calendar so it's perfect so i'm going to do one more one more again here in google sheets conference i'm going to create this one the 20 the 5th of august let's see I have it here and it's in my red calendar in which it's conference, so it's working very well. Then I'm going to do the same for create event or um, for delete event and for modify event. So again, this delete event, I'm doing it in my calendar. So I'm going to do the same thing. And the same. And that's it. You shouldn't need anything more. So the other thing I, as we have built this, it sh we shouldn't have any problem with the IDs because it's not going to create if this says event created. So maybe there's not, we're not going to have any problem. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to do. Bring a calendar, select default calendar, specific calendar. Maybe I'm going to clean this up a bit here. I'm not going to do it by get calendar ID, but by get calendar by name. And I'm going to bring the name so I can, I can delete this this function so it's not so it's, it's cleaner so i'm going to have default calendar name it's config sheet dot get range but in b1 get value and here is not get calendar by d but get calendars by name and default call name but in the position zero and i could comment this and then delete it and let's see if it works again i'm going to try one here in my test calendar 15 of august 
here in my test calendar. Perfect. So let, let's do one uh, so I can delete this and I can delete this. Maybe I don't need this ID here and I just can bring just the name and I don't need to, but, but it's good to have it just in case we need anything to have the ID for calendars. Ah, the other thing is that these green calendars, in the case I have created new calendars, I can have these bring all calendars in our on open function. So if you remember we how we done we have done the menu is that we had it in a trigger here in an on open trigger. What I'm going to do is to have let, let's call let's create a new function that is called on open functions. And here I'm going to have all the functions that I want to run when the, the file opens. The first one is going to be this menu creation and the second one is going to be the one we just created. This this bring all calendars function. And I'm going to change our trigger so that it doesn't trigger this function but this one. That encapsulates ju just so we don't have to have multiple triggers, just one for for an opening. If we then need other triggers for edit or something, then we could have new ones. But in the, in the meantime, I'm just going to change this. It's not menu creation, but an open functions. And let's we leave everything as it was. So we're going to test it. Just refreshing this. So I have here my first problem: that when I run it every time, it's going to bring new ones and new ones. So what I can do is delete all of this and then refresh it. So in my here in my bring all calendars before doing all this I'm going to go to my list sheet and get range from this third row the first column up to the last row it finds let's leave this until the last row two columns and clear count. Save and let's refresh. Perfect. So let's create a new calendar just to test. Let's call this test two. And let's refresh. It should bring it here as a new calendar. So here it is. Perfect. And I have it here in my config, and I have it here in my events. I always have the new calendars that I have. So that's it. We went one step beyond and have this to be a little bit more customizable. So thank you so much. I hope you like this series. There are new suggestions for doing it way more advanced, but I'm going to, to wait till Till this is seen by more people and then we can advance it furthermore. So as always you'll find the template in the Patreon page and please anything any suggestions or questions you may have please let me know. See you next time.